Honduras appears to be following a constitutional process. Uh, their constitution limits the term of the president to one term, and it also says very clearly that any office holder, including the president, who tries to change that aspect of the constitution immediately removes himself from office. Uh, that happened in Honduras. President Zelaya attempted to extend his term in office working with Chavez uh, and Chavez money and with the Congress, the Attorney General, all agreed that he was, uh, he was doing that illegally. It was unconstitutional. He was removed from office. Uh, the question now is should they have used the military, but the military was acting under orders of the Supreme Court of Honduras, a unanimous vote. Uh, and so I, I'm, I am just at a loss to understand why the Obama administration is saying that this was an illegal coup and that the constitutional process was interrupted. Uh, the facts don't appear to, to back them up. <laughs> when the United States is on the side of Chavez, who hates us, who's trying to organize the whole region against us, uh, we've just got to ask if we're on the right side. Uh, Chavez, Ortega, uh, the Castro brothers are clearly not on the side of freedom. Uh, they want to install puppet dictators uh, throughout Central and South America, and they've done a good job of that so far, and they're trying to do that in Honduras, and it appears the United States is going to help them. Well, they should at least look at the facts. I mean, I, I would just submitted for the record in this committee hearing the order that came from the Honduras Supreme Court and the charges that came from the Attorney General, and these were validated by the Congress almost unanimously, uh, and this was a Congress controlled by Zelaya, Zelaya's own party. Uh, so there at least is reasonable doubt here that uh, there was any kind of coup. Uh, in, in my mind, the facts say this was a constitutional process that was carried out by the government, and Zelaya abdicated his uh, role as president when he attempted to change the Constitution.